Grand Theft Scratchy. Buy it! Scratchy! Wow, chocolate half price. Excuse me, Fatty. You're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah. Snow White and Stupid Town. For your information, I am the White Chocolate Rabbit. Hey, White Chocolate's not even chocolate. It doesn't even contain cocoa salad. Well, if I'm not real chocolate, then you probably wouldn't be interested in eating me. Mmm, <laughs> White Chocolate. Maybe you'd do better in a turn-based RPG. I hate know-it-all chocolate. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've never seen anyone wet their pants while jumping! I hate know-it-all chocolate! That gave me goosebumps! I mean chocobumps! Mmm, empty calories. So slow, Fatty. Eat too many of my relatives? I hate know-it-all chocolate. Wow, it's even bigger than March's bus. If you can't do the tutorial, you're really in trouble. I hate know-it-all chocolate. Leap, Jumbo, leap! I hate know-it-all chocolate. Ah! The tail is the best. Whee! Look at me! I'm a big, fat, funny ball, and I can eat and eat and eat and never get full! This is like a dream come true! Thank goodness I'm not dreaming! Even bleed. I'll die it when I'm awake. Smash the bunny! I can do the dog. Not dreaming, not dreaming, not dreaming. Not... What? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much to ask? Damn you, reality! All night! Hello, pathetic store nerd. One copy of Grand Theft Scratchy, please. I'm um, sorry, sir. That game is rated M. No problem. I have ID. This is a Cal Calzone Zone frequent Calzone Eater's card. There's a free Calzone in it for you. This never happened. <laughs> wow. Teenagers are so dumb. What? What are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh. Great, now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday. And I'm totally sick of them. The Simpsons.
Simpsons game. Hmm, this is so weird. The only Simpsons game I can think of is the one where we all pretend Dad isn't an alcoholic. What could it be? Wait a sec. This is a manual for a video game set in Springfield. <gasps> and Dad is a character. And so is Mom and Lisa. Who'd want to play her? Whoa, I'm in this game. I wonder what my moves are. Jumping, floating. Oh, man, I gotta try this. Wow, this is the only good book ever written. Hey, boy, look what appeared in my magic drawer. Hey, what's with the fruity getup? If you're planning on coming home like that, don't bother. Dad, I'm a superhero now, and I have all these awesome powers. Superpowers, huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. I was gonna go shoot bats while reading swimsuit magazines in this cave. Wanna come with? Now, where did I leave that gun? This place is amazing! Someone did their research! I assume. My turn! What the heck? Watch back! I'm gonna hold my breath! You count! Along with that! Remember, people, we came to this museum to steal, not learn. Don't look at any of the displays. Stay focused. Come on, let's get out of here and find a situation where my new superpowers could be useful. I think Lenny needs help moving. Dude's got a huge futon. Wait! Maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the Dark Avenger of the night. I'll just have to find another way. said God planted it in the ground to fool us. To Springfield Museum's History of Man. And woman. And woman. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait for your wait around, Homer. Oh, no. oh, nicely done, Dad. Oh, I told Mom you weren't a complete loser. Oh, Look, the security cameras didn't see that, Dad. 
Surrender any weapons and preconceived notions of museum guards! Oh. 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 There's some violence, Dad! Hey. Oh. Look, the security cameras didn't see that, Dad! Finally! Our first diorama depicts early man. One of the traits that sets our human forefathers apart was the emergence of the four-fingered hand we know today. Okay. Hey. I told Mom you weren't a complete loser. Yeah. Oh, nicely done, Dad. Way to throw your weight around, Homer. Let's do this. The Middle Ages were a turbulent time, as the vestiges of the Roman Empire smoldered. Castle storming was all the rage. If you weren't storming a castle, you were worse than a loser. We continue to the story of Jebediah Springfield, the noble founder of Springfield, despite facts uncovered by troublemaker Lisa Simpson proving he was actually a bloodthirsty pirate. So forget the last part of my statement, okay? No, I'll get. We don't like your style. Get off my damn diorama engine. New slash, no loser. Don't listen to him, me. You're awesome. The family that gets punched together and <laughs> screamed together. Want a piece of me? My superpower is anger. Let me introduce my fist. Ha, next time you'll think twice about doing your job. of incandescent gas, a giant nuclear furnace. Hey, Homer, a little help? My turn! Finally! Mind if I hit you right? Three quarters of the earth is covered by water. The water of life. for the Roman god Mercury, a winged messenger. That keeps yeah. Stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities! We're just henchmen, man! Skinner hired us! Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I, yeah. <clears throat> the city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Roddy Piper, times a billion! This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. 
Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner, but I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a north and a south Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. Sit at a toasty 864 degrees Fahrenheit. When you get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing but swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. That does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! Duffman welcomes you to the Dove Ultimate Eating Challenge! I dedicate this gorge to my dearly departed mother. She choked here in a haggis eating contest. I recuperare mi dignidad! With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, start your digestive tracks! On your mark, get set! Chow! You can't bully on an empty stomach! Perdone me! Ay, ay, ay! Bizarro world, so you lose. You look stupid. Duff is now responsible for contestants turning into balls. All the hats. Australia, land of kangaroos in the mountains. A moment of silence for the super taco. Oh, yeah! Well, it's so slippery for you. An order of crepes. Hold the attitude. Is it bad if one of your thumbs is bigger than the other? Scotland, first place of stinginess. Andale, andale. Nobody pushes Kearney! Nobody! Perdone me! No time to save her! Winner's first! Sorry, you Here comes It's a spicy meat to bone! Chili! The noodles are called pasta, and pasta is called super pasta. Oh, super meatball! I hardly knew you! Crumbs seem to be everywhere!
to America land, where the syrup is high fructose corn and every serving is free serving. Peace officer, come and drown. I've ever seen such a beautiful sight. This better be a hallucination. Don't mess! The bully has become the nerd! Who take that! Symbol of national pride and freedom! Chewing's almost as good as punching! That was my choking hand. Still, you did great. Homer, Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion. Oh yeah. Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship Belt is last year's champion. Who will need to get that adjusted? Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny. Technique. <laughs> And now, the losers have to clean up! Oh yeah! You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, less references, more mopping. Do that in the morning! You have superpowers. That's amazing. How'd you get them? Manual. That manual has staggering metaphysical implications. We have to take it to the proper authorities. We could do that, but wouldn't you like to know what your powers are first? I have powers? Wow. With these abilities, I can be a force for social justice. Oh, God. Can we skip this level? Come on. It'll be fun. You can hurt a lot of bad guys. Well, if there's gonna be hurting... So, we'll cut down all the forests in Springfield and turn each tree into a single luxury toothpick. Great idea, Mr. Burns. But one tiny question, won't that lead to, uh, environmental disaster? If you want to make an omelet, you have to wreck a few planets. Well said, sir. Well said. There they are!
strike today. The company is your friend. No, it sounds like a yellow crowned heron. Oh my god, that sounds like a chainsaw. No, it sounds like a buzzsaw. Ah! Hey, Carl, why do we fight so much? Sometimes I think it's because it's all we have left. Those men sure are glistening.
You saved our lives. You kids are heroes. Yeah, we're gonna tell everyone we were rescued by, uh, 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 uh Homer's kids, whose names are... Bart and Lisa! Oh, I can't believe you forgot our names. You've known us our whole lives. So? We're not thinking about you all the time, you know? Lisa, we did it! We destroyed the factory! We put 200 hard-working Americans out of a job. How are we supposed to feed our families now? Uh, you could retrain in a field with a brighter future, like daycare management or sports massage. But I've been a logger all my life. My daddy was a logger, and his daddy before that, and his daddy before that. Hey, great story. All I wanted was to destroy our delicate ecosystem. And this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry, sir. You want me to have some goons rough up Al Gore? I'd like that. Yes! The legislative branch comes through again! Uh, Mom, keep reading. Hmm. Quimby's closing up to that sleazy video game producer. That really burns my beehive. I must hasten home to play my new carjacking game. <laughs> Give me your ride, jerk. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Matt, are you hurt? <laughs> Nothing a smile and some medical attention can't fix. Hmm, that video game's gonna turn every kid in town into stabby Sams and drive-by Bettys. Mom, I know how you could get that game banned. How? This manual tells us how to use superpowers. You mean I can talk to whales like Aquaman? Or do whatever Hawkman does? No, Mom. You have the power to convince crowds to do whatever you want. Just like Oprah. Okay, let's stop that video game. I get to have people do what I want, and it's not even Mother's Day. Tear it down! Heaven feels like kind of underwhelming. Let's do it! Screw it out! Great success! <laughs> Protest this! Oh, I've had cover struggles with a high press! Ah! Oh. Oh. Say hello to my little oh. friend, baby oh. Jason! Oh. I understand why a mouse would be so demeaning to women. Crash it! Oh, 
Bloodthirsty mob, but do we have to smell like one? After the death march, everyone decided to cast a Flanderini for cheap trouble. I can't believe our children hate us for our freedom. Feel my wrath, Magrina. This is not a library, but good luck in your next life. I'm going to make you squishy. Worked up. I'm gonna pound a few root beers.
Congratulations, Quimby. You made Grand Theft Scratchy Day a tremendous success. Thank you. Why don't we celebrate with some interns? Sexy interns? Well, Springfield sexy. Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> I don't think he's coming out. We're going to have to use our secret weapon. No, Ned, not yet. I'm talking about Maggie. I give this experience a check. Now it's time to burn your other two. I'm an old testament kind of Mommy loves you. So I'm ready to receive my bribe now. Oh baby, the dollar sign doesn't lie. What I could introduce you to side show Mel. <laughs> Dear God, we're not soaking, we're cooking! A mob of parents? A s s s s senator Quimby, you specifically promised me no mobs. You said this town was full of slugs who would suck up our sexy sleeves with a smile. Consider yourself unbribed. 
Unable to secure a decent bribe, I have decided to flip-flop and ban sales of Grand Theft Scratchy for minors, the only people who want to play it. Mom, isn't it a little bit hypocritical that you're opposed to the violence in the Itchy and Scratchy game, but then you use violence to get your way? I'm sorry, Lisa, what? I, I just can't hear you over the roar of this appreciative crowd. Sure. That was so, so awesome! What I did. Oh, it that was, was the greatest incredible. day of my life! Oh man, all my life I wanted to be a human garbage disposal, and now I was! Homie, don't you think you could put your new powers to better use? Oh? Like what? Eat terrorists and bar flowers? What did you do that was so great? For your information, I rallied the town to ban a very violent video game. Mom, if kids don't play Grand Theft Scratchy, they'll never learn real-world skills. Like how to sell guns or hunt for hidden packages. You should talk, Bart. I heard that you destroyed half the Natural History Museum. And that's my favorite place to find solace. And while we're on the subject of yelling at each other, your little stud with the loggers has put an army of regular Joes out of work. Way to go! Way to ruin lives! Of all the stupid fat idiots, you wouldn't know what to do with the superpower if your name was Charles Manson. Well, well, your name, yeah, that's right, lame. Well, we're here, and it only took 300 decasols. You're the one who made us stop to visit your mother in space. Why do we always argue on spacecations? You're right, let's kill and space up. Job. Guys, listen, we've been given special powers, and if lazily written movies have taught me anything, it's that with superpowers come super responsibilities. So, on behalf of the town, let's go kick some alien butts. If they have butts to kick. Now, our powers aren't strong enough. We need to stop these spaceships, and there's only one person in Springfield who's smart enough to figure out how. I drank blue juice from under the sink. Oh, let's just find Professor Frank. Wow. Crates, coins, hearts, old video game characters. What is this place? It looks like some kind of factory. But what are they making? Why, they're making video games, my dear child. You see, when I traveled through my rift portal, I discovered a world beyond ours. Welcome to the Game Engine. Yeah, yeah, great. Here's the thing. Our town's being attacked by aliens and... Don't you understand, son? Your whole life up until this moment has been a mere video game. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? The thing is, our video game powers aren't strong enough. We need upgrades, and fast. Well, I've anticipated this problem, and I've done what every video game player who doesn't have time to figure out things for himself does. You cheated. Exactly. <laughs> Behold, the strategy guide. A cheat guide? I don't know, Bart. I do want to save the lives of everyone we love, but if that means I have to be dishonest... Oh, for crying out loud. All right, Frank, let me see that book. Find help! An oversized monkey and his touches are unwelcome! I'm with the best! I'm like Spider Man! Thank <laughs> you. 
busiest department in all of video games. Marketing! Maybe I should slip aside and get some reading done. Did you know shafts are 56 degrees in summer and winter? this black mm -hmm. come from. up there and not just stupid Frank. I gotta remember to steal a bunch of stuff here.
you coming, Professor? No, no, no. My place is here. I've, uh, I've made a life for myself in this world with my lovely new bride. Finally, a woman who understands me. She is my everything. I was my When that mysterious beam hit the dolphins, they became enraged and started attacking humans. I tried to fight back, but all I could see were snouts and blowholes. <laughs> oh, Sea Captain, I'm so sorry. Don't you dare pity me! Oh, I yelled at a little girl. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go sit in my car. Wait a second. You need to help us defeat the army of lovable fish-eating crowd-pleasers. Agreed. There'll be a hatch out in the water behind the marine park. Meet me there, and we'll beat back the scurvy dolphin invasion. Yeah. Here come the dolphins! So 
Now here's King Snorky. Huh, King. How patriarchal. Let there be green! <laughs> Await you in paradise, my pet! <laughs> Yar, I've had a great time today, kids. I almost never appear this much in the series. Huh? Of events that constitute your lives. <laughs> they foiled our plot. We must have revenge. Revenge. Vengeance. Revenge. Payback is ours. The mini egg rolls are done. Egg rolls. Delicious. Hot. Revenge! Revenge! Egg rolls! Dipping sauce! Egg rolls! Mm. Revenge! Mm. Dad, look! They're raiding the mall and sucking up innocent citizens! Where is mall security? You always seem to be around when you take a whiz in the fountain. Stop! Hey, stop your thieving. I spent all day clipping these coupons for flat screen magic picture machines. Brandine has to watch her stories in 1080 iPixels. This human has tiny pieces of paper that give him big, big savings. We must study him. Study him with anal probing? Of course with anal probing! What else would we do? Talk to him? <laughs> Thank God they're torturing that yokel. It's the perfect time to attack. Stupid aliens, why can't they destroy the school? Do I look fat today? Because I feel bloated. <laughs> So I told her I'm too focused on my career to think about dating right now. <laughs> Tonight we're gonna party like it's 1979. I'm sorry I snapped at you before. I haven't been sleeping. Sometimes I worry the other aliens don't like me. What?
pressure pads, my favorite video game cliche. This is cool but incredibly painful! Pull that far lever! The two calories are slower than the... Cletus, are you okay? I think they done busted my stank ball. Damn those rectally obsessed savages! Damn them! Well, now you're free. You can go back to your trailer, shack, lean-to, or whatever. Uh, technically it's a hovel. But I ain't going no wires. Those green fellers started a feud that won't be over till I poke something in their void holes. It's gross, but fair. <laughs> Zap them! Zap them! The humanoid! I should be a bad son of a Check that out! Hey! Go! Burn their brain! Come on, let's do something! Holy cow! Father crying out in terror in space. No one can hear you scream. We're not in space. Well, we are in a spaceship. Not the same thing. It's pretty weird that you'd be working with the aliens. Try not to think about it too much. Just focus on what an unexpected treat it is to see me here. Besides, you won't live long enough to hear the convoluted explanation. Now, cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet Simpsons. And flights of aliens sing thee to thy rest. <laughs> I told you to pick up your space rake. No matter. It was foolish to send a former TV clown to do an alien's work. We will have our revenge. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my bad. Rock! Good evening, Springfield. Kent Brockman chasing local imbecile Homer Simpson and his delinquent son Bart, who have picked a fight with an out-of-control donut mascot statue. Bart Simpson, are you and your father insane? Hi, lady, I'm on TV. I just said your name on TV. Don't tell Carl unless he sees this, in which case... Hi, Carl, don't tell any I said your name. <laughs> Anyways, gotta go. I'm ready for you. Out of Michael Jordan's book, Lard Lads brought a bunch of robotic clowns to life. Lard Lad learned the hard way that Bart Simpson is a real pain in the behind.
I'd like to take this break of the action to say hello to Lenny. You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. Celebrity deaths and monster hatches always come in threes. Show a little dignity in victory. Eat fist, Lord Crutch! Shad Spot, how could Lord Lad lose to that guy? Don't yell at Lord Lad when you really want to yell at me. I screwed this whole thing up. You're right, I do blame you. <laughs> be the level boss for this part of the game. The boss! Quick! Everyone look busy! <laughs> Guys, look! The hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire! Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Something, these space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jigging right? Sorry, the cheat guide doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat the internet. Of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating, is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Move it! I want to play solitaire. in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. Ah! Yeah, all right, fine. I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my god, it's a nerd. That's right. The nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Will Wright, designer of Sim City and the Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely! And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them! They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island! I'm Marge! You can't do this! Of course I can! I'm Will Wright, bitch! And pretty soon, when there's a new, better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too! Ha 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 ha! Stop him, Homer! Nerd! Ah! 
Keep it together. Think of your money. Concentrate on all your money. up to this? What's with those jerks at EA? They hate me, you know. They're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. Wow, this is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh. oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. Do you like donuts, too? Sure do. You want one? Um. Pixely. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, The Simpsons game is great with its unique, upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then! Damn this godforsaken place! Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die! Each death more painful than the last! <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Oh, somehow it's not a cliché when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know who's but to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the Creator. He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Well, let's get to it, video gang. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield! What a pretty level. I like the theme of fantasy. Oh, I've got a fantasy. Now that we're finally away from those kids, we can, you know, you and I can get together all afternoon. You're so bad. You're going to ruin this game's tea for teen rating. Um... Help! Help! Someone save us! My ears are pointy. <laughs> Come on, Homer. 
We've got to save those midgets. The words, I can't control myself. You're one sexy milf. The word is elf, and no snuggling till we do the right thing. Oh, look, you sexy Marge. Wow, this place looks just like that movie. Lord of the Flies. Oh, where to find the key card. Or you could give us five minutes of privacy. Two would be enough. The object you seek is through this door, but it is sealed by magic. Ah! No, it wasn't. Actually, we never tried it. We're in a dungeon, Marge, and by the look of it, not a snuggle dungeon, either. Yeah, but it's still nice to get away from the kids. Whoa, translucent. Trip E. Whoa, I'm translucent. 
Favorite old school sword and sorcery video game. Dig Dug. Oh, I don't get any of these references. Get me out of here! Oh, dragon survival? Oh, I can't go, but sexy. Who likes to do bad things? I'd kick your butts if I had my monster manual! or super fart. My name is Orc Mo, and I'm here to say I'm gonna kick your ass in every way. Yeah. 
I'm the happiest magic guy in Pretendland. Well, at least we quit smoking. As much as I'm against murdering family members, it was nice to have a level away from the kids. My precious. Listen up, youngsters. We have received intelligence that the Krauts are due to invade the beloved French township of Ville de saint Capitolons. I don't need to tell you that this town provides the snails that feed the entire French resistance. If saint Capitolons falls, the resistance will be so hungry for snails, they'll turn around and fight for the bad guys. Oh, I've seen it happen before. You will parachute out of a UB-40 Red Wine Flying Fortress over saint Capitolons, where you'll have to locate me and Private First Class Burns for further instructions. Now, good luck. You boys are my favorite privates, and you know how much I love my privates. My privates mean everything to me. Please, God, don't let anything happen to my privates. I can't look. I'm scared of heights. Tell me when we're about to land. You can look now. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to honor our brave veterans than by turning their horror into a video game. <laughs> we are, uh, how you say, finished. Oui, monsieur. May I have another? Ah! Oh, look at me. I'm French. I'm a scared girl. I don't like being bombed and attacked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, knock it off. We're here to protect these cheese eating surrender monkeys. That means taking down these white flags before they have a chance to kiss German butt. Yes, yes Sergeant Simpson. Simpson. You know, Sarge, while your time traveling son and grandson take down the flags, we could remove the priceless paintings from the village before the Germans get here. You know, for safekeeping. You look and sound so evil. But since you're American, I know that's not possible. We'll get the paintings. You two take care of the flags. What war is this? Don't they teach you anything in school? It's the Civil War, duh. <laughs> up on flags. Stereotype. Over 
Everyone else gives up to the moon. People say we surrender like monkeys. Let the shoes the world that we surrender like men. I really should have taken more friendships. When you bow down, put some real bending on me. Your name thinks he's so afraid, like no one's ever seen him walk away. If they want to fight, turn around. They may not be willing to shoot you in the back. Remember, you can do anything you are hard to do. Or If you feel shame, drink more wine. Oh, this takes care of Marge's birthday. Surrendering our country, not our style. Try to look your best. Feet don't fail me now. This one's gonna make the most exquisite doily. Wow! I feel slightly lighter than air. I see a do rag in my future. I wonder which you think. I have made wine in my pen. We must not be cowards who hide from our goal to surrender. Flee like the wind! Listen up, my beloved private. We had a traitor in our midst. 
Private Burns has nicked all the French paintings with all those luscious naked sweater melons. So listen up. Burns has moved the paintings to his own private aircraft carrier, the USS Real Crazy. He has the damn thing heavily guarded by his own private cadre of muscular sailors. These men fight for neither God nor country. They fight for love. I'll be leading a sortie of Hellfish warplanes, and we'll be providing heat from the air. You'll need to stow yourselves aboard the ship at dock. Once out to sea, disable the ship's defenses while we attack from above. Homer, you'll be on demolition duty, and you'll have just enough C4 explosives to complete your objectives. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're never gonna run out of explosives. If you ran out, you'd never finish the damn thing. Any more questions? I don't care. Over and out. Missed me, now you have to kiss me. Eat deck, you treacherous double-crossing Nancy boy! That's weird! Grandma seems to have disappeared! You know what's even weirder? In Iceland, tipping in a restaurant is considered an insult. Again. Flame on. My turn. Palmer, you need to plant all the C4. I should give Maggie some C4 to play with. Kick ass. Successfully planted.
even know what video games are. <laughs> Tell it to the Andrew sister.
know you think you're evil, but you're no Dick Cheney! Why don't you kiss my buttons? I'm going to sell these paintings for hundreds of dollars. Hundreds! Tickles. As mayor of this village, I would like to thank you brave American soldiers. You hid our cowardice and brought back the pride of our village. Our paintings. Dad, can I have some wine? The other kids are doing it. Sorry, boy. You're an American kid. You have to get your booze from an older creep hanging around outside the liquor store. God bless America! Okay, I'm in a stupid Japanese game, but I'm not eating sushi. Unless it's covered with chocolate and there's no sushi in it. Greetings, naughty, naughty earth livers. Welcome to the realm of Mr. Dirt. Isn't it splendid? Knock it off, Millhouse. We know it's you. Uh, sorry, but I'm the king around here, guys, and you're going to have to deal with it. Unless you want to be my queen, Lisa. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Dirt. But I'm so huge! And I'm the main bad guy in my own video game! Isn't anything good enough for you? Hey, the girl said she's not interested. Beat it, loser! Ooh, Japan! Mom. I love learning about any culture Mom. except... Mom. 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 Oh, a small Japanese village. I can write an ethnography. One and Ritter Nerd. Your quest is to defeat the evil Mr. Dirt, Scourge of the Daylands, and CEO of the most evil Ring Shark Corporation. He seeks to rid forest and field of Gaion Energy. Hmm. And how would you describe this evil CEO's attitude toward the old ways and the traditions of your ancestors? Most disrespectful! <laughs> Real original. 
To defeat Mr. Dirt, you must travel to Corners of Our Land and win back Sparklemon. Mr. Sparkle will join you with gate opening power and a Sparklemon capturing ball. My turn! Ugh, put some clothes on! Attack! You may have defeated one Sparklemon, but you will never defeat another. I mean, maybe you will, but it'll probably take a couple times. Hey, it's the icy type one of these guys. I don't know whether to be airsick 
Temple of the Two Moons, so don't follow me. I mean it. Quick, Dad, you need to insert the Sparkle Mon into the coin slots. Lisa, don't tell me how to use a toilet. Would you tell Chuck Yeager how to fly a jet? <laughs> Spokuru has risen from his banishment in the underworld. Now I must return to my corporation, where I am mascot for celery flavored soy chip. Cell soy kills the hunger demon, but graciously adopts his children. Cell soy, cell soy. But first, I will cleanse the world of Mr. Dirt. I guess I should give you this key card now. Ew, no way. I saw you picking your nose with it. Dad, we need the key to save everyone we know. Just take it. <laughs> Dad! Hey, come on, guys. Take it easy. My glasses! Graffitos, bottle and bags, and way more pimps than I'm comfortable with. I just don't understand why Bart would want to play this game. What is it with cats and mice? Can't they ever get along? Lisa, you and I are gonna clean up this video game once and for all. Do you think it will still be fun if you can't stomp cat prostitutes and take their money? Of course. Of course! What's more fun than playing nice? As Budo once said, let's do this thing. Okay, hounds! Get up!
the river? Why not? Raise that slow shot! Let's do this thing! I find your rap music boastful. You didn't! this game, not just gamers. Uh, Mom, I don't think we've finished yet. Check it! P to the double O, chip, I, E, I'm the dog <laughs> who's to the extreme. What's up, my gangsters, pimps and hoes? My hood is clean and now it's close. A baby girl skank and a blue-haired hoochie. Pop a cap in the asses, so says Poochie. Crazy? I've got to have- 
have his big Now that's a concussion! Poochie, but even you aren't extreme enough to resist the power of a stay-at-home mom with too much time on her hands. Yeah! Word to your mother. We did it! We cleaned up the game and therefore made it more fun. This is gonna be the least violent third-person shooter ever. Great work, ladies. We finally made this video game safe for children. I proclaim an end to video game violence. <laughs> Oh. oh boy. Did you get the key cards? And how many points did you get? Video games don't have points anymore. No points? Then how do you know you're doing good in the game? Well, you make progress through the objectives of the game. Like here, we collected the four key cards. Four points? That's a pretty sucky score. I got eight million on a centipede machine and a pizza hut once. But four? Pathetic. Look, how many lives did it take you to get these cards? Lives? What do you mean? I mean, I died a lot. And I mean a lot. But it's not like I have limited number of lives. Infinite lives? Then how is the game even hard? What's the point if you can just play forever? The world I grew up in is gone. Look, Cyber Chums. We need to use the keys to get into that mansion and talk to this creator, Wacko. Our town is being blown up as we speak. So let's do this thing. In these video games, levels get easier as you go along, right? Right? That's right, Dad. They sure do. Let's go. Go get them, guys. Get your initials at the top of that high score screen. Yeah! Bad chance. Four points. <laughs> this is it. The home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Stay ahead of you, boy. <laughs> so they won a war. Well, then it's a war they'll get. Violet, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groaning. It's graining. Are you sure? No. Flame on!
Whoa, this guy is like Richie Rich. Step straight. I bet this guy thinks he's better than me. My turn! Lawyers attack! Trans fatty goodness! Finally! This lawn is nicer than mine. Maybe I should try hydro seeding. <laughs> Plugging.
recess! Suck a pencil! Haven't you heard? This country has a lawyer club! Wow. Wow. I want the franchise for this! Okay. Mmm, donut. I bet your creator is like a thousand foot Godzilla with big boobs and he breathes fire snot. Think again. Your creator is TV's most beloved animation visionary. Seth McFarlane? Ah! Oh, say hello to my little friend. Aw, oh, snap! <laughs> Do that to me, Turner! Creator is this guy? It's Bender! It's the Futurama! The Bender has become the bitch! My shiny metal ass! Yes! Oh, sexy robot nurse! I think I broke my sloppy drive! Well, it's a different fat man and little boy. Or should I say, fat ugly man and stupid little boy. Hurt tugging! Best donut ever! Ow! Ah! 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 Ah!
I'm bleeding oil and turn it Mmm, donut. Kick ass. My turn! I wish I'd created family guy. In another life, we could have been friends. Ow. <laughs> Bart, Dad, you just vanquished your own creator. The philosophical implications would make Eugene Ionesco's head spin. Hmm, you make a provocative point, Lisa. And furthermore, kick him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh. Uh, stop kicking the man who doodled you! It isn't nice! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you for saving me, ma'am. I'm enduring grateful. Mr. Graining, how could you have betrayed us, the fruits of your creative loins, and sold us out to all these awful video games where we endlessly die and lose health and jump and jump and jump? I swear I didn't know they'd be awful, Lisa. If I'd known, I only would have slapped your faces on mugs, t-shirts, candy, lunch boxes, board games, gum, novelty flying discs, and fluffy, fluffy beach towels. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me... Video game engine self-destruct button! So long, suckers! <laughs> The dirt has prevailed. I have dishonored my ancestors. Hey! The Springfield portal is the only one that's holding. Come on, everyone, back to Springfield! Hang on, I'll be right back. Ah, but I love a Sauron, will you? Ah! Crap! Oh, well, I'm glad that's over. What's for dinner, Marge? I hope it's a spaghetti! Here we go! Uh, Homer, we're still under attack. I guess all that's left to do is pray that God saves us. That's it, Mom. We have to talk to God. Lisa, what are you doing? It's not safe out there! I'm gonna use my Buddha hand powers to build a tower to heaven out of Springfield buildings. Then we can get to the only authority who outranks Matt Groening. God. Lisa, everyone knows God only helps the mighty. Awesome. Ooh, I hope the stores aren't all closed. Who's there? Stand and unfold yourself. Hey, what's the big idea? Let us through. Uh, Dad, I think that's Shakespeare. You know, the Bard of Avon. Ooh, I love Avon. I pray thee cease thy counsel, which falls into mine ears as profitless as water in a sieve. Enough of the John Grisham fancy talk, Mustachio. Meet Yorick, a fellow of infinite death!
I knew heaven would be filled with jerks, but this is ridiculous. Loggers are dead. Franklin, you are my intellectual hero. Please, please let us pass so we can talk to God. No, Ailey, sir. You're a bigger butt kisser than Thomas Jefferson. Up here, I'm judge, jury, and executioner. It's time you all learned that heaven can be a hell of a place.
God's not setting a very good example. No wonder you never hear about God having a girlfriend. Is someone there? I don't have any money. God, it's the Simpsons here. You've been playing with our lives and we'd like you to stop. Our town, family, and friends are all suffering. Yeah, God, you used to be cool. Just because I'm a gamer doesn't mean I'm not cool. Your uneasy looks have brought my disfavor, you bunch of jerks. First original sin, now this. God got mad skills. God got game. First original sin, now this. Great. Way to hurt God's feelings. First original sin, now this. Great. Way to hurt God's feelings. Me, I'm good. First original sin, now this. Great. Way to hurt God's feelings. First original sin, now this. Great. Way to hurt God. Right, loser. You stop the destruction of our town and give us some answers, or these save games go in the drink. 
No, my save game. Stop. I'm on the final boss fight in Oblivion. I can't start again from the beginning. Okay. I'll do whatever you want. I thought so. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, God, uh, God, is it? It's time for some answers. Who are we? Here's the bad news. You're video game characters. You were designed by computer geeks in cubicles to run around and be controlled by other computer geeks in their bedrooms. We knew that, Birkenstocks. Yeah, explain to us the meaning of life. Okay, those computer geeks who control you. Thing is, they're part of a video game, too. You see, the planet Earth is my most immersive, detailed video game yet. And I play it 24 hours a day. It's great. You can get out of your car, have a family. I even put in a complete and wholly consistent fossil record for the nerds. So, the Simpsons game, your game, is really nothing but a mini-game inside my Earth game. If you think about it. So, not only are we not real, we're characters inside a mini-game inside another game. And the people playing us right now are the characters inside the big game that you're playing. Well, you're not inside just any game. The planet Earth got a score of 96 on Meta Metacritic. But why did you let me find the instruction book back in Springfield? Doesn't that mess up your whole system? Oh, totally. That was like a complete accident. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Oh, how do you control the camera in this thing? Is it the L and R button or what? Ah, screw this, I'm getting a beer. Oh, The Simpsons game? So, yeah. You see? Oops. Oops! Ain't gonna cut it, Mr. Glowing Visage, beautiful beyond all description. You gotta make this right. Relax, relax. God, I feel really, really super bad about all of this. And I seriously want to finish Oblivion so I can get started on something else, so... What do you want? Put Springfield back the way it was. And let us keep our awesome powers. Improve the working conditions of all video game characters. Grant me three wishes. Fine, fine, I'll do all that stuff. Even make games less dangerous for the characters. I guess games have been getting too violent. God, there is one thing. Do you ever wonder if you're a character in a video game? Well, that's... that's just dumb. I mean, stop being dumb. Whoa! 